Today's topic for discussion is tricarboxylic acid cycle. This is also referred as citric acid cycle or simply it is called as Krebs cycle. Today we are going to see overview of Krebs cycle and then we are going to study in detail components, mode of action, regulation and congenital lactic acidosis associated with pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Krebs cycle is considered as the most fundamental pathway in energy metabolism and it serves multiple roles in metabolism. This is the final metabolic pathway uh, where the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fatty acids or fats converge. And this is the pathway that produces majority of energy currency in most animals. So this is the pathway in which all the food stuff it gets finally processed and it is converted into ATP along with the production of water and carbon dioxide. location of Krebs cycle is mitochondria. It totally takes place in mitochondria. All the enzymes for Krebs cycle are found in the mitochondrial compartment. It is a complete aerobic pathway. It takes place only in the presence of oxygen. Catabolic pathways including of carbohydrates, lipids and proteins all finally get linked with Krebs cycle. If the intermediates of Krebs cycle are utilized by other metabolic pathways, then Krebs cycle is capable enough for regenerating or replenishing its own intermediates through other mechanisms. For example, from the catabolism of some amino acids and fatty acids, intermediates of Krebs cycle can be regenerated. So these reactions are called anapleurotic reactions. The word anapleurotic is from Greek language. That means up to fill. So these reactions are up to fill reactions are simply filling up reactions. If the intermediates of Krebs cycle are not available directly, then these reactions can provide intermediates for Krebs cycle. Even Krebs cycle can provide its own intermediates for other synthetic reactions in the body. And these reactions are termed as catapleurotic reactions in which Krebs cycle itself supplies its own intermediates to serve other metabolic pathways. Since Krebs cycle can regenerate its own intermediates and can supply intermediates for other metabolic pathways, so it means that intermediates can enter or leave Krebs cycle. So therefore Krebs cycle can also be envisioned as traffic cycle. The very first reaction that connects glycolysis with Krebs cycle is oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate. Pyruvate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation and it is converted into acetyl-CoA. In this reaction, carbon dioxide leaves and NADH is formed. This reaction is catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, which is also called as PDH complex. Pyruvate is synthesized in the cytosol from glycolysis. But when it has to be converted into acetyl-CoA, 
then it travels to the matrix with the help of a transporter which is called as pyruvate transporter this transporter transports pyruvate from cytosol to mitochondrial matrix once it has arrived in the matrix it is convertible now into acetyl coa by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex Pyruvate dehydrogenase complex or PDH complex is a multi enzyme complex. It comprises component enzymes and coenzymes. There are three component enzymes of PDH complex which are designated as E1, E2, and E3. E1 is called pyruvate dehydrogenase PDH or it is also referred as decarboxylase. E2 is called dihydrolipoyl transacetylase and E3 is called dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase. Please note that the word or the alphabet E is for enzyme. This complex also includes two regulatory enzymes which are called as pyruvate dehydrogenase kinase and pyruvate dehydrogenase phosphatase. Now the coenzymes of PDH complex. Five coenzymes are required by a PDH complex. For example, E1, enzyme 1, pyruvate dehydrogenase or pyruvate decarboxylase. It requires thiamine pyrophosphate, which is a vitamin B1 derivative. Then E2, which is dihydrolipoyl transacetylase, requires lipoic acid and coenzyme A. Remember, coenzyme A contains vitamin B5 as pentothenic acid. E3 or dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase requires FAD and NAD. FAD is riboflavin and vitamin B2. And NAD is niacin and this is vitamin B3. If thiamine that is vitamin B1 or niacin that is vitamin B3 are deficient, then it may result into delayed activity of TCA cycle since the first reaction of Krebs cycle would be blocked. TCA cycle would become impaired if the PDH complex is inactive since ATP will not be generated if any one of these vitamins would be missing. Many alcoholics are deficient in thiamine or vitamin B1 because they follow a poor diet or alcohol may also inhibit intestinal absorption of thiamine. So they are always at more risk of developing life-threatening pyruvic acidosis leading to lactic acidosis. Now we are going to see in detail that how pyruvate is converted into acetyl-CoA through oxidative decarboxylation. Now this is the complete reaction that how pyruvate is converted into acetyl-CoA. In this reaction, NADH is formed and carbon dioxide leaves this reaction. Now in the first reaction, E1 or pyruvate decarboxylase, which is also called pyruvate dehydrogenase, it decarboxylates pyruvate and binds thiamine pyrophosphate with the acetyl portion of pyruvate. And this derivative is formed, which is called hydroxyethyl TPP derivative. Now in the second reaction, E2 or dihydrolipoyl transacetylase, it transfers oxidized form of lipoic acid to ethyl hydroxy derivative. TPP is regenerated and oxidized lipoic acid gets bound with the acetyl portion of hydroxyethyl derivative. Now in the same reaction, coenzyme A then reacts with this derivative 
Now this derivative is transient and it is only formed for short period of time. When coenzyme A binds to it, then this acetyl portion and coenzyme A results into the production of acetyl-CoA and lipoic acid is released into its reduced form. In the third part of the reaction, which is catalyzed by dihydrolipoyl dehydrogenase or E3, this reduced form of lipoic acid, it gives its hydrogen atoms to FAD. FAD is reduced to FADH2 and reduced form of lipoic acid is itself oxidized. Now this FADH2 gives away its hydrogens to NAD and NAD becomes NADH. So in this reaction, pyruvate is finally converted into acetyl-CoA with the production of NADH and carbon dioxide. So this is how glycolysis gets linked to Krebs cycle. Pyruvate which is coming from glycolysis is converted into acetyl-CoA which can then begin Krebs cycle. There are multiple fates of acetyl-CoA. As we have seen in the last slide that we can make acetyl-CoA from pyruvate. In upcoming lectures, we would also see that how acetyl-CoA can be formed from amino acids and fatty acids. Uh, this acetyl-CoA has got multiple fates. It may be linked to tricarboxylic acid cycle. It may also be resulted into the production of ketone bodies and it may also act as a precursor for sterols and fatty acids. This is another way to see the metabolic fates of acetyl-CoA. You can see here that this acetyl-CoA can be converted back to fatty acids. It may result into the production of tags or triglycerides. It may also act as a precursor for phospholipids. It can synthesize or act as a precursor for eicosanoids or prostaglandins. It can undergo Krebs cycle, producing energy. And then it can also be linked to cholesterol. And then it can be further converted into bile salts and steroid hormones. And it may also act as a precursor for synthesizing ketone bodies. So acetyl-CoA is considered as a key intermediate or central intermediate in the metabolism of lipids. Now we are going to see that how PDH complex can be regulated. There are two enzymes, kinase and phosphatase, which are the regulatory enzymes for PDH complex. Here is pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is in its active form. Remember that in its dephosphorylated form, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is active, but with the help of kinase, it becomes phosphorylated. When it gets phosphorylated, it becomes inactive. In order to make it active again, PDH phosphatase works. It can dephosphorylate pyruvate dehydrogenase and can convert inactive form of pyruvate dehydrogenase into its active form. PDH kinase and PDH phosphatase are regulated by different regulators. For example, if the concentration of ATP, acetyl CoA, and NADH is high, then it may act as stimulator for PDH kinase, and PDH kinase may be stimulated by all these stimulators, while high concentration of pyruvate may inhibit PDH kinase. On the other hand, high levels of calcium may trigger PDH phosphatase, and it can result into activation of PDH complex from its inactive form. There are two direct inhibitors of PDH complex and that is NADH and acetyl-CoA. If NADH and acetyl-CoA are present in high concentration, they can inhibit pyruvate dehydrogenase complex directly without acting on kinase and phosphatase. If pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme is deficient due to mutations, 
then it may result into congenital lactic acidosis uh, because pyruvate won't be converted into acetyl CoA and all the pyruvate would be available to be converted into lactic acid. Now congenital lactic acidosis has been seen due to deficiency in the enzyme 1 of PDH complex. Enzyme 1 of PDH complex is pyruvate dehydrogenase or also called pyruvate decarboxylase. If it is deficient, it may result into congenital lactic acidosis and it may cause certain problems for the brain cells because brain cells are uh, dependent on TCS cycle for extracting most of their energy. Uh, this disease is X-link dominant and thus it can affect both males and females. Uh, till date, there is no proven treatment for this deficiency. But in selected patients, it has been seen that dietary uh, restriction of carbohydrates and the supplementation with TPP, it may improve symptoms. Arsenic poisoning, it may result into inhibition of all those enzymes of Krebs cycle that require lipoic acid, for example, E2, or dihydrolipoyl transacetylase of PDH complex and alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Arsenite which is the trivalent form of arsenic, it can make bond with the SH or sulfhydryl or thiol groups of lipoic acid and as a result of which lipoic acid becomes unavailable to act as a coenzyme for the component enzymes of Krebs cycle. So when arsenite or the trivalent form, it binds to lipoic acid especially in the PDH complex, then first it may result into pyruvic acidosis and then it can lead to lactic acidosis. Mercury kinds have also been seen to react with the thiol groups of lipoic acid and they can also inhibit the enzymes which need lipoic acid as coenzyme. For example, mercuric ions can inhibit pyruvate dehydrogenase or PDH complex since it uses lipoic acid as a coenzyme. Okay, this is the slide showing complete reactions of uh, TCA. So acetyl-CoA starts Krebs cycle and we have synthesized acetyl-CoA from oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate. It is a two carbon compound. It first condenses with the four carbon compound oxaloacetate and forms a six carbon compound called citrate. Now this condensation reaction is catalyzed by citrate synthase. Citrate is converted into isocitrate using aconitase then it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation and it is converted into alpha ketoglutarate using isocitrate dehydrogenase. Then again with oxidative decarboxylation, alpha ketoglutarate is converted into succinyl-CoA using alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase enzyme. Succinate is formed from succinyl-CoA from succinate thiokinase. Fumarate is formed from succinate using succinate dehydrogenase. Fumarate is converted to malate using fumarase and malate is converted into oxaloacetate using malate dehydrogenase. This 4-carbon oxaloacetate again condenses with acetyl-CoA and forms citrate and rebegin the cycle.